Hi friends, in this video we are going to see block diagram representation of discrete time systems. Generally, the block diagram representation of discrete time systems are developed by whether from difference difference equation to block diagram or system function whether the discrete time system will be given as a system function the system function will be converted into a block diagram okay so here this block diagrams indicates the manner in which the computations are performed in the system okay so it is simple way to see a system what are the computations are performed in the particular system and for this computation what will be the output okay suppose if you want to make any changes in the computation or if you want the different output you can make changes in the block diagram otherwise you can say this block diagrams are is easily or used to easily uh, pictureize how the system is looks like okay so rather than see this system function as a uh, mathematical equation here we are going to see as a pictorial representation so it is easy to understand the system that is the first thing why we need to go for block diagram representation any system can be represented using block diagram it is usually to visualize what are the operations are carried out in the particular system that is the main reason why we are going for block diagram representation okay so here for the discrete time system we are going to use z transform we are going to use z transform to represent a system function in the form of block diagram okay so here to represent a uh, system discrete time system in the block diagram form we need some standard structures for example we need adder the symbol for adder is this is the symbol for adder so if, suppose you are having two inputs x1 of n and x2, x2 of n both signals will be added using this adder and this will be the output so output y of n is the sum of x1 of n and x2 of n another important component of the block diagram representation is a multiplier okay a multiplier otherwise you can say an amplifier amplifier okay so you can represent this multiply in this way also this is an amplifier symbol okay so this is x of n and this will be y of n means some magnitude the from value for example 100 or thousand uh, sorry 10 or 100 like that any value will be multiplied with the original signal so a constant multiplier is another important component of block diagram representation the third one is at the delay element the delay element it is nothing but the integration integration part generally any system any system will can have a differentiator also an integrator but generally systems are designed using integrator not using differentiator so that is why we are mainly concentrating the important um, component of block diagram representation is integrator or you can say this is the delay element okay so suppose x of n is the input signal means y of n is the n minus 1 1 means it is unit 1 delay suppose it is z minus square means this will be y of n x of n minus 2 here 
टू यूनिट डिले दर इज ए टू यूनिट डिले सो जनरली any discrete time system can be realized in three different way or oh sorry four different ways so that is direct form 1 and direct form 2 cascade form last one is pa parallel form sometimes these two direct form 1 and 2 combinedly said said as direct form combinedly said as direct form so direct form cascade and parallel so these are the three uh, fundamental uh, categories of representation or realization of uh, systems in the direct form there is two types that is direct form 1 and direct form 2 okay so generally most of the places we will direct form means this direct form 2 only you have to consider because direct form 2 is more advanced form of direct form 1 that we will see later on uh, in the videos so here i have planned to uh, make uh, four videos in this first video we are going to concentrate direct form 1 realization the second video i am going to concentrate on direct form 2 the third video we are going to see cascade form and fourth video we are going to see a parallel form realization so in each uh, type of realization first we will see a generalized <coughs> system function a generalized system function then we will see one example okay so we will start direct form one realization so this is just you can see this is a system function it's a discrete time system so we are saying it is a system function if it is a continuous time system we will say the transfer function transfer function so here system function h of z that is equal to y of z divided by x of z that is output is a transform of output divided by is a transform of input this is nothing but impulse uh what you can say you can simply say simply say it is is a transform of impulse response is a transform of impulse response otherwise you can say it is a system function so system function we can easily compare with the continuous time system there we can say h of s is equal to y of s divided by x of s so this is transfer function okay so laplace transform of impulse response is called transfer function in the case of continuous time systems okay here in the discrete time system laplace transform of impulse response that is equal to y of z divided by x of z that is called as system function so the it will have two polynomials one is the numerator polynomial second one is the denominator polynomial so y of z is b not plus b1 z inverse plus b2 z power minus 2 similarly x of z is equal to 1 plus a1 z inverse plus a2 z inverse uh, z power minus 2 okay so this is the ratio of two polynomials so system function is a ratio of two polynomials to represent this system function in the form of block diagram what you have to do first we have to cross multiply these two ratios we, if you cross multiply you will get y of z plus a1 z inverse y of z plus a2 z power minus 2 y of z is equal to b not x of z plus b1 z inverse x of z plus b2 z power minus 2 x of z okay here we are going to take some consideration if you consider this part the right hand side rhs side that is equal to w of z this is a intermediate variable w w of z is intermediate variable then 
we can say instead of this part I'm going to substitute W of Z then next step is Y of Z is equal to you can take this part the whole part will be taken to the right hand side taken to the right hand side so here equation 2 first we are going to represent the equation 2 this is your equation 2 that is going to be represented using the block diagram so here you can see the w of z the w of z this is the w of z this is equal to b naught of x of z you consider first this part b naught of x of z so w of z is equal to x of z into b naught this is the constant multiplier so w this is an adder so this adder going to have three components this part this part and this part okay so here x of z is equal to b naught uh, sorry x of z that is going to be multiplied with b naught and it is going to be added to this adder so it is b naught x of z okay after this part when it is comes here means b naught will be multiplied with x of z so it is b naught x of z next what is the next thing you needed you needed b1 z inverse x of z so here i am going to put a delay element so here what you will get here you will get z inverse x of z here you will get b1 z inverse x of z so here b1 will be multiplied with z inverse x of z here you will have here already this third part b2 z power minus 2 will be this this is z power minus 2 okay here also you have to make the change here already it is correct z power minus 2 so it is z power minus 2 how you got z power minus 1 and z power minus 2 so it is z power minus 2 here you will what you will have z power minus 2 into x of z here it will be z power minus 2 b2 z power minus 2 x of z so here these two terms will be added so these two term will be added using this adder so this is the adder here so what you will get here this will be b1 z power minus 1 x of z plus b2 z power minus 2 x of z now these two are added using this adder now this term this term is going to be added with this using this adder finally w of z will be sum of all b naught of x of z plus b1 b1 z power minus 1 x of z plus b2 z power minus 2 x of z now we completed this x uh, w of z part next we have to complete this part y of z y of z is equal to w of z minus that is equation 4 equation 4 is y of z is equal to w of z minus a1 z power minus 1 y of z minus a2 z power minus 2 y of z now y of z w of z you are having here so that is going to be multiplied with 1 only because you don't have any coefficient here ok so that is 1 so it is going to be added with uh, multiplied with 1 after that y of z we have to take from y of z now not from w of z like the previous case we are having here y of z so you have to take from y of z and it is going to have a yeah, delay element and it is going to be multiplied with a yeah, minus value of multiplier a1 minus a1 you can say it is plus plus minus a1 so you are going to have minus a1 in the multiplier part and here also plus minus a2 so z power minus 2 this z power minus 1 and this is here for my z power minus 1 uh, it this will be z power minus 2 so here it will be z power minus 1 y of z here after multiplication it will be minus z power a minus a1 z power minus 1 y of z here it will be z power minus 2 y of z here it will be minus a2 
z power minus 2 y of z so these two terms will be added added and finally this will be added with your w of z these two term will be first added ok minus a1 z power minus 1 y of z minus a2 z power minus 2 y of z these two term will be added using this adder and finally this will be added to your y of z so y of z uh, sorry this will be added with your w of z so y of z is equal to w of z and sum of these two ok so now equation 4 you have implemented now we are going to combine these two figures figure 1 and figure 2 figure 2 to implement the total function because this w of z is equal to what we already implemented using in the figure 1 this is w of z this is w of z so we are going to connect these two different diagrams into single diagram to find out the complete realization this is direct form 1 so this is already we found this is we already found this is figure 1 and this is figure 2 so we are going to combine these two figures that will give you the complete representation of the given system function Okay, so this is what direct form 1 and these are the steps we have to follow to represent a system function using direct form realization. Okay, so we will see an example to implement the direct form 1. So see the example obtain a direct form 1 realization for the system described by the difference equation. So here in the question they are not given the system function directly they haven't given the system function directly they given the difference equation so using the difference equation we have to find out the system function system function h of z then only we can proceed to represent the system function in the block diagram form okay so to find out the system function what you have to do we have to use the mathematical tool that is is a transform so we are going to use the is a transform to find out the system function so h of z is equal to what that is equal to y of z divided by x of z so we have to take the laplace transform sorry uh, is a transform on both sides of the given um, given difference equation if you take the z transform on both sides when you are assuming zero initial conditions so this will become z inverse or oh, sorry y of z if you take the laplace transform y of n will be y of z and you have one unit delay one unit delay so laplace transform of x of n minus 1 or you can say x of n minus alpha that is equal to z power minus alpha this is the property this is one of the property of z transform z uh, sorry just uh, forgive me uh, it is uh, z transform of x of n minus alpha that is equal to z power minus alpha then x of z okay so it is n minus 1 that means z power minus 1 instead of x here you are having y that is the only difference so z power minus 1 because z power alpha this is the time shifting property time shifting property of z transform okay so z power minus 1 because it is alpha value here it is 1 so z power minus 1 y of z plus z power minus 2 y of z similarly if you take the laplace transform of oh, sorry z transform of a, x of n this will be x of z again n minus 1 time shifting so z power minus 1 x of z now this part this part I am going to consider as W of Z W of Z this is equation 2 and 
if you put w of z here your uh, this equation that will become like this that will become like this then again y of z is equal to this terms will come this side so w of z plus this term then minus this term okay now you are going to realize equation 2 and equation 3 using block diagram representation first you will see equation 2 equation 2 that is x of z plus 2 power z power minus 1 x of z that is equal to w of z ok this is what the equation 2 we are going to realize so like we seen the previous section the general form um, first we have to implement that w of z part after that we have to implement the y of z part ok so here w of z is equal to x of z you don't have any magnitude that is magnitude is 1 plus 2 into z power minus 1 z power minus 1 means it is a delay element it will come here 2 2 is the multiplier so these two term will be added that will be equal to w of z next equation 3 so y of z is equal to w of z so w of z it is going to directly multiply by the factor 1 then 5 by 6 z power minus 1 y of z so z power minus 1 and we are going to take y of z and 5 by 6 a plus value then z power minus 2 you know you need another delay element so this is z power minus 2 y of z now here it will be 1 minus 6 that is the multiplication factor here you what you will have z power minus 2 minus 1 by 6 y of z right so this term this is z power minus 1 y of z here you will have 5 by 6 z power minus 1 y of z these two terms will be added that here you will have minus 1 by 6 z power minus 2 y of z plus 5 by 6 z power minus 1 y of z so now here y of z is equal to sum of w of z and this term that is equal to y of z next what you will what you will, what you will do we will combine these two figures figure 1 and figure 2 will be combined because this w of z will be this w of z so we have to connect these two blocks so this is the next step we have to combine those two figures figure 1 and figure 2 we will get the overall system overall system this is h of z this whole block is called h of z so h of z is equal to y of z divided by x of z ok so this is direct form 1 we seen the general uh, form from that we implemented the direct form after that we seen example hope you understood this video content next video we are going to see direct form 2 how we can represent the same system function same difference equation the same difference equation is going to be the same difference equation going to be represented using direct form or realized realized using direct form 2 ok thank you very much